expected surge in such. Mm -hmm. Do we have the necessary support measures and centers in place to consider young people who are jobless now and might consider the two issues that I've mentioned? Okay, when you just talked about that, uh, just remembered about the BBI. There was a proposal in BBI that they are going to create uh, something for mental healthy and, and, and making people happy. There was a certain clause that was in BBI oh. for that. And I don't know if the government, they, they know that they, they were sure of what they were doing in terms of uh, putting the country into this situation. So they wanted to come up with that department so that they can cater for such problems. But let me tell you one thing, my brother, that when you're in the house and you don't have anything, you cannot put food on, on the table, your one-year or two-year child is just besides you crying. She or he does not have something to feed on. The child does not understand about the curfew, about the lockdown. And as a, as a parent, especially, especially we men, we are the head of the family, as the father of that child, what are you going to do? When you get out of your house in the evening, there's, a, there's another lady passing by, maybe he came late with a handbag. You'll be forced to snatch that bag away from her so that you can get something for your child. You, your intentions were not to, to commit a crime, but when you think about your child, then you are forced to do that. So these are some of the things that uh, are, are going to affect our, our young guys on the ground because they are totally, their minds are, have been affected psychologically, they have been tortured, they have nothing to put on the table, and they have to provide to the family. So the rate of crime is going to increase. Okay. That one I tell you 100% sure. Okay. So the government needs to come in and find alternatives. Like the first, when, when there was the first session during the corona pandemic, there were, there were some institutions who were offering some foodstuffs to people. There was some relief, and even the tax and everything. We need to find an amicable solution to this problem, or else even house, outside the streets, Going, we're going to just have some gangsters who are going to be robbing people around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, now, Coach, we earlier talked about the increase in the number of job losses in the country and the Ministry of Tourism, rather the sectors in the tourism sector, did complain about what they say was a likely loss of 1.3 million jobs. That add up to the 1.7 million jobs the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics said is the number of jobs that were lost since March 2020 comes to about 3 million. Hypothetically, we expect... 8% of that number to be made up by the young people in the country. I mean, then how does the government address the aspect of depression, as I earlier posed, and uh, the thinking that the young people will have and the violent extremism nature that will setting educated, youthful, connected, energized, digital. These are young people that can be corrupted, isn't it, even for terror activities very, in the country. Uh, thank you, Nduguayu. Uh, it is concerning. Uh, the number of unemployment and uh, we also must recognize that um, yes the a large number of those unemployed are youth but also a large percentage of those that facilitate the industries or the let's say hospitality industry are also youth so we lose twice in that sense and um, yes um, there is the there is the element of... Uh, okay, can, can I just pause you? I need to pick this phone call. You'll, you'll continue. Okay, thank uh, you. Worries. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? To you. Thank you so much for joining us. What's your opinion in regards to what we are discussing? Okay, fine. I'm so disappointed with the government, but the government is our part of us, so we have nothing to do about it. But this is my opinion first. Okay. From the government's uh, authority that they closed the five counties, mm -hmm. Actually, they have uh, made so many people be jobless. I'm just taking an example of the Machakos bus station. Okay. Yes. Those people who are selling tea fat, look at them. That is one group. Okay. Those who are selling things to those who are traveling, another two. Thought, another three. Car wash guys who normally wash those cars after the safari, four. Drivers another one and you remember these people are traveling from up country to this side while they travel they bring the goods from kisumu to nairobi nairobi to kisumu all these people now have nothing to do they are at home what do you think and they are youth these are not old age people 40 years 50 years no they don't have that one 
look at the guys who have been uh, driving these motors to Kisumu. They have become jobless with their children. Where do you expect them to get food as for now? Okay. Actually, government should have done something so that they can check on this one. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Your time is appreciated, and many thanks for putting forth your opinion. Yes, please, Kigan, as we finish up, and then I get to Aziza uh, to wrap things for us here on the broadcast. Yes, and uh, maybe you can start by answer, asking your question again, please. In regards to the idle mind created in the aftermath of the recent measures, especially for young, energetic, connected, digital young people, who can be manipulated and easily absorbed into violent extremism. 